Stewart, South Bay's very own WSGA. Bill Hoyt with you, hoping it's going to be just another perfect day. Sun, surf, whatever it takes to make you feel just right. Time for all you windsurfers out there to roll out of those racks and into the next zone. Yeah, there's just two days left to get in shape for the South Bay Centennial Regatta on Saturday. Of course, we all know that our own local surf sailor, Mike Patterson, is pretty sure that he's got that trophy wrapped up. And just to make sure, he's been putting in eight hours a day for the last couple of weeks. Where'd you get your input, Hoyt? Mike's just about sleeping on his board these days. Of course, Billy Joe Wells figures he's got a chance, too. Don't you, Billy Joe? Here we go again. The cub reporter's got to have his morning shot at Dad. Well, who knows? Maybe his daddy will buy that trophy. Oh, Billy Joe, that's no way to talk to a pal. I'll tell you what. I'll play a record for you anyway. I was going to play it for Mike, but uh, I don't think he can hear it. Too. I thought you were coming to get me out. I see Mike's early as usual. He's been out almost an hour already. Unless he gets careless, he'd have to forget to put his flag up to lose that cup. WSGA wants to remind one and all that Saturday marks the beginning of the Centennial Week festivities. After the windsurfing event, committee chairman William Wells Sr. has graciously provided the grounds of his estate for an open house barbecue. Now, I'm sure that no one will think for a moment that uh, Mr. Wells' generosity has anything to do with the fact that he's running for governor in the uh, November election. What's he got against my old man? It makes no difference, Billy Joe. WSGA listeners don't vote anyways, and your dad knows it.
knew it was a flash of literary genius that kept you from making the coffee while I was out. Some flash of literary genius. I'd have probably made just as bad coffee. How's the ocean this morning? Now there's a little chop, but nice. Where's Jenny? Still asleep? No, no, she left just after you did. She's gone surfing with the boys. Oh, by the way, you haven't forgotten the committee meeting, have you? I promised you'd be there with me today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I guess I've used up all the excuses I can think of. Mm, yeah. Daddy? Daddy, we need your help. Uh, well, what's the matter? Mike, she disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? He, he was out surfing about 200 yards out, and all of a sudden we didn't see him anymore. We were watching him. It looked like he was doing fine. And then, like Jenny said, he was gone. No sign of him or anything. We need your boat, Dad. Show, huh? Well, that doesn't surprise me. He has his own reasons, Dad. Yeah, I bet. The artist can't be bothered with little things like his hometown celebration. He doesn't owe you any explanations. And neither do I. Excuse me, Mr. Yeah. Rosen. Uh, later. shot on the big man. Oh, Mr. Wells. We're uh, laying out the shooting schedule. Fine. When do I get to see it? Well, uh, would uh, tomorrow morning be convenient? No. I need it uh, in about a half an hour now. Half an hour? Sorry, Mr. Wells. Bob, I'm relying on you. One thing's for sure, it wasn't a floating chainsaw. I've lived here 30 years. Never been a reported shark sign of anything big enough to have done that since I've been here. You have to be one hell of a specimen, too. Yeah, but the trouble is, once they get a free meal, once they get a taste, they tend to hang around looking for more. Well, there's still a missing half of Mike's surfboard. Maybe Mike's on it, drifting around out there. Maybe. Gee, 
Jesus. What? They got a windsurfer got on Saturday. I wouldn't bet on it. I'll read you in the Coast Guard. Time to start the search for the boy. Okay. Sorry, kiddo. Just didn't want you drifting out to sea, that's all. What makes you so sure it's a shark? Could have been a prop, couldn't it? Oh, come on, Bill. Look at that board. You seriously think the propeller made those cuts? Yes. But how do we know this was Mike's board? Could have drifted up from Florida from him. Well, anyway, I don't buy it. Ah, right, come on, Matt. It's not a question of buying it or not buying it. There's a kid missing, that's all that matters. Coast Guard's already out looking. That globe is out there in patrol. Maybe it's come up with something. This is where we found the surfboard. Now, the current here runs off toward Eagle Rock. Now, Mike would know that. He'd be smart enough not to try and swim against it. The Coast Guard's out there looking for him now. So it was at any luck. Excuse me. What about the boat that ran across the board? Why didn't they pick him up? Okay, kiddo. On my way. That was Jenny. The uh, Coast Guard radioed in. They found something. that? Ed Gover's. John, what happened? Found it swamped. Must going up on the rocks out near Eagle. Where's Ed? There was nobody on the boat. Ed Gover's the last sailor around here to get himself caught in the Eagle Rock current. Unless he got caught in a, in a haze. Hmm. That's said Glover's boat. All set, you. Oh, Peter, of course you're going to tell me you're sharked at this, too. I'm not here to tell you anything, Matt. Two people disappearing in one day bothers me. Chief! Chief! else. Couldn't it have been an explosion? We all know that when Ed goes fishing, he uses grenades. I don't know what you're talking about. No explosion did this. You see any powder marks here? Look at it. Look at it and tell me a grenade did this. I don't care what did it. 
I've never been known to quit. South Bay's having its regatta. I can't do it, Bill. I can't? Of course I can. In fact, I have to. There's too much at stake now. be the other half of Mike's surfboard. Any more doubts? No damn shark's gonna screw up a whole year's work and planning. We're going ahead with the regard. And there won't be any risks. Where's the Mako? Where's the tiger? There's only one shark in this whole world big enough to cause that kind of damage. Gentlemen, there is absolutely no need for you to worry about me allowing anything to happen to my town. More than ample security measures have been taken to protect the windsurfers. This section of the bay has been completely closed off by special shark-proof netting, which extends from here to here. Spotters will be placed along these strategic points. And boats with our men aboard will be anchored outside the netting here, here, and here. So the actual triangle in which the regatta takes place will be 100% safe. Gentlemen, absolutely nothing is going to happen. You like it? Yeah. Cover as much as you can. When you're through, you'll have enough material to put together a pretty good documentary on Wells Water Sport Security. By the way, I don't want people getting the wrong idea. I'm not saying they will, but just in case. Don't air that stuff till I give the word. Right now, we have to keep the lid on it. We'll have a lot more on our hands than a rogue shark to worry about. Hey, wait a minute. You mean people will panic? Yeah. We have to avoid that at all costs. Yeah, it's clear, but it puts me in a rather precarious position. What do I tell the station? Nothing. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Mr. Wells. How many boats do you think we'll need? I'd say about eight, including yours. Well, we'd better make it ten. My office has instructions to give you whatever you need. Just call. That's very nice of you, but there's only one thing that I'd be needing. Name it. Out of that great white mist. Great white shark, affectionately known in the tropics as white death. Well, that's what we're dealing with here. There's nothing else could have caused the kind of damage we've seen. Now, I know the uh, great white isn't supposed to be in our waters here, but maybe it's old or crazed or for some reason it can't compete for the food where it normally feeds. Whatever the reason, here it is. Well, the... Um, the record length is uh, a little over 28 feet, and uh, the only vulnerable points are... Uh... Oh, hell, Ron. Come on, you do this week. All right, his weak points are the base of the head and below the dorsal. You have to aim for one or the other of the two areas because the great white shark you cannot scare off, not this animal, especially you, because he's had his taste of human flesh, and he's developed a craving kind of madness, because it's not this hunger 
that he wants to satisfy. He wants to kill. So you have two choices. One, get out of his way. The other, is to hold your ground. Fire. And tried to kill him because she didn't have another choice. Any questions? second in his last race. He's got a good chance. So does Billy Joe. Come on, let's go in the water. Say is you'll be mine. I'll 
Start rolling. That's good. Hold that. Jimmy, get over to the judges' platform for a shot of the start. All right, Bob. On the way. That's good strategy, kiddo. Won't have to attack at the start. I'd like to see that shark get through those nets. It sure costs a pretty penny with all those protective measures of yours.
Sorry, gentlemen, I can't make a statement now. But didn't you take the proper security precautions? Hey, just hold it there. I said hold it. Security measures were taken, but not for a great white of this size. I've never seen anything like it my whole life. I've hunted shark all over the world. So put that in your paper. But security measures, they were taken. <laughs> the shark! The shark! It's coming back! <laughs> You're the one who made the decision to go ahead with race. Politics is decisions, period. Politics is decisions? Paul, suppose we save that bullshit for the voters. All right. So I made the wrong decision. But I bent over backwards on security. Benton and Hammer are the best there is. But they're not going to forget me. Which means you don't think I should either, right? Look, the other side's having a field day in the press. And we haven't got much of an answer. What do you want me to do, go down there and kill the goddamn thing myself? Not at all. But it 
it'll take something spectacular for me to keep our key people aboard. Oh. I got a feeling, just a feeling, that you're passing the buck. I think you're the one who wants to back out of this. That's the way you want to look at it. Bill, I'm in this to win. So I want to be sure I'm backing a winner. Bottom line is that you've got to be responsible for the destruction of that shark. And not by next week. Now. Getting out of worse spots? I'll get out of this one. I hope so. For your sake. I got the dynamite here. What are you gonna do? Pull yourself up again like a Ruba? I oh, wait a minute. That was a bad charge, and you know it. it. Just went off a little early, that's all. Put you out of commission for 18 months. That's your warning. Your lungs wouldn't take any deeper than 30 feet. Let's talk about the dynamite. Hey, let's talk about it. Just gonna be used as a backup. You know, there's lot to be a mighty big fish down there. And then even power heads wouldn't do the trick. Okay, Commander. So long as it's a backup. You get mighty lonesome down there. You know, you all blown up in little pieces. I'll be staring at that damn big shark all by myself. Well, thank you for your concern, but it's just possible he's nowhere in the area. True. On the other hand, could be he's right under the boat. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I'll tell you one thing. If he gets a whip of that whale oil there, he's going to come around in a hurry. Now, Claudia. In the locker, there's some tie ropes and clips. Now, if we need them, we're going to need them fast. Just say the word, Skipper. Yeah, I hope so. You know, Peter, we're allowed to see something the size of which we never dreamed of. It's bound to be an experience. Bound to be. What if your old man comes looking for his boat? No way. He's too busy to go cruising. Besides, if we haul that monster into port. He's gonna be one proud papa. Local kids avenge friends' death. Kill, kill a shark. I can see it on the network news already. Hey, what if we don't find it? You know what I say? We ought to make a pact not to come home without it. I'm in. Me too. Hey! hey. This is all I could wow. find, but I, I don't know what he did with the lungs. He did just fine. Yeah, I'll say. Let's see. A club case. Okay, All you right. guys. The hunt is on. Artillery. <laughs> okay, go on down. Can you read me? Yeah, I got you fine. Me too. All right, now it's just the zone out. Okay, come down. to uh, shoot some blues off Eagle. Well, where's your dad? Uh, he couldn't make it. Does he know you're taking his boat? Sure it does. He told me I could. Okay. You come back in if the wind turns north easily. You hear? You bet. Nothing to worry about, Mr. Olsen. Be careful there. Damn. Can 
How did he make the shark out? Yeah, he used a little stock footage. Nobody know the difference. Hell no, I promised Harry a network pickup. Gotta have some action footage. You might have to dive, Jimmy. Oh, things I do for show business. Look at that. I want to have that baby swim right across the screen in living color. And if he can get it to jump through a hoop, all the better. <laughs>
minutes. Air. Okay, it's ready. Throw it over. Yell when you spot it, huh? Are you kidding? I'd say he was at least 30 feet long, and that's a conservative estimate. Wouldn't you say that, Peter? Yeah. Hit him with two power heads. It just kept coming. You got to look at him. You got to look at him, Mr. Wells. It was eye to eye. Why don't you get back in so quick? Back? Back from where? Oh, we just crossed you on your way out. What are you talking about? I haven't had my boat all week. Your boy took your boat out, Mr. Wells. He said he had your okay. There were four of them. You're Jenny, too, Mr. Benton. They said they were going off Eagle Rock.
Excuse me. Um, how much longer before I might hear something? You don't know exactly when surgery will be finished. Thank you. Peter? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. If hadn't been for your helicopter, we'd have lost her for sure. It is my fault. Oh, you had no way of knowing they were going to take your boat. Yeah, but I should have known. Please, nurse. It's been more than an hour. Can't you tell me something? I'm sorry. When the doctor's finished, he'll be up to help you. Dad, I always wanted to help you. She's awake now, if you'd like to see her for a few minutes. Does she know? No, she's still pretty groggy from the anesthetic. She'll feel her missing leg for months, perhaps for a year. Well, there's no need to say anything now. She'll know soon enough. You, you go. So I, I backed off and I watched you wipe off the blood and the gravel from your leg. When you got up and you, you stared down at that great big bicycle like it was some kind of wild animal challenging you. And you picked it up, it must have been twice as big as you, and you kind of shook it. Back on and down the road you went again. I remember my uh, my heart skipped a couple of beats, uh, partly out of concern, but I was so proud of you. Only this time you won't have to do it alone because I'm here and your mom's here and we've got we've got a whole lot of strength. It's all yours.
There it is. Take us down to 20. Okay, take us down lower. him right down the lens. Me behind it, you ain't. What's that, spare ribs? Uh, you might say, or spare ribs. Okay. I'll get that in me yet. Rock! Some debris floating off to starboard. Now take a closer look. Eagle Rock again. He's made this his place. He's down there now. I can feel it.
Mr. Shark said he'd be back. That's funny. Okay, let's get to work on the camera. Do you think this thing's gonna work? It's sure worth a try. I'm gonna bring that king-size killer shark into millions of living rooms. And then you'll be on your way to the network. My star cameraman. The answer is no. This is my boat, those are my orders. No, damn it! That's my shark, Rod. It has to be. The hell it is! That's just your shark! Or your daughter's leg! The other bodies out there, the more to come if we don't end this thing. Jesus, Peter. Don't you think I know the pain you're going through? But he's down there. He's down there now. He's waiting to attack. It's been his pattern just before he makes an attack. And this is the only thing we have to stop him. And there's only one dynamite belt. So what's the sense in risking both our necks? I've been killing shark most of my life. Well, you have been right most of your life. So I'm the expert here. And that's what it's going to take to kill a bastard. Peter, I need your help. I need you on the ship. If I'm in trouble down there, you're the only one that can bail me out. Now, is what I'm saying make any sense to you? All right, all right. Let's, let's stop arguing about it like a bunch of damn fools and get on with it. Jesus. Sometimes you can be a real pain in the ass, you know that?
uh, Briley? Martin? Yeah. Bob Martin. Good to see you. All right. This is where I set up? Uh-huh, there. We put the bait at the end of the pier. We'll have a remote camera covering the action. Well, if your shark shows up, it'll be over real fast. I know it's too tight. How was she when you left? She's much better. They gave her a sedative. She's asleep now. <laughs> television here for? Helping see some blood, as usual. Mm. Can't even mention I get seasick looking at the ocean. Thought of blood will put me out like a light. Now, this little baby's special. See these shells? Second and a half detonation. Enough for a charge to open up a tank. Hey, what'll that do to my camera? You just keep them out of the line of fire. <laughs> you bet. to live up to your reputation. Don't worry. Just a fish. Camera jock's better be fast. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure, man. Somebody get us some help down here before this shark has us for lunch. Call the Coast Guard. Uh, sure, I'll contact them immediately.
It's all over. At last, our waters are free of danger. The shark that terrorized our town has finally been destroyed. And here we are on the spot with the story. As folks, this is Bob Martin on the scene with our local hero, Peter Bent, who made it all possible. Let's get a little closer and have a few words with him. Ah, here he comes. <laughs> Mr. Benton, would you say a few words for our TV audience, please? <laughs> How does it feel to be a hero? Mr. Benton, please, you've got to say something. Please. 